Okay, today what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at some circles. Um, we're going to review what a circle in standard form looks like, what it looks like in general form, and then we're going to take a general form circle and rewrite that equation so that it is in standard form. Um, your standard form is x minus h quantity squared plus y minus k quantity squared equals the radius squared. All right, in this form, uh, this is a handy form because real quickly you can tell what your center is by simply pulling out your h and k, and then you can also real easily see what your radius is. All right, when a circle is written in general form, it is as such x squared plus y squared plus dx plus ey plus f equals zero. This is not as handy because I cannot just look at this and come up with the center or the radius. All right, so it is helpful if you know how to take a circle in um, general form here and rewrite it in standard form. Now we're going to do that by using uh, completing the square, which is a um, pretty common thing from Algebra 2. All right, so I have my uh, circle in general form right here. <clears throat> my first step is going to be to rearrange my terms so that I have my x terms together and I have my y terms together. So I'm going to do x squared plus 4x. I think I'm going to go ahead and put that in a set of parentheses. Plus, now I'm going to put my y terms together, y squared minus 4y. Put that with a set of parentheses. Now I'm going to take this 1 and move it over to the right-hand side because ultimately I am going to have a radius over there on that right-hand side when I get done. So I'm going to add 1 to both sides and put that over there. <clears throat> All right, all I did in that first step is... Uh, rearrange terms. So rearrange terms. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this up for completing the square. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go x squared plus 4x, and then I'm going to leave myself a place for me to complete the square right there. I'm going to do it on the y's as well, y squared minus 4y, and then I'm going to leave myself a place there to complete the square and I've got a 1 right here. Now, whatever I complete the square in these two places, I have to do to both sides of the equation. So I also have to do it over here, so I need two more blanks over here. All right, now if you remember how to complete the square, you take half of that middle term, which is 2, and then square it. 2 squared is 4, so I'm going to have a plus 4 there. If I put a plus 4 right there, I also have to do it on the right-hand side to keep my equation balanced. Okay, on this one, again, half of 4, all right, half of the negative 4, even if you want to consider that, uh, would be a negative 2 squared. It's going to be 4 again. So I'm going to put a plus 4 right there. And over here then in this blank, plus 4 to keep my equations balanced. All right, so that's me completing the square. All right, now I know I need it in standard form. I've completed the square, so I'm going to take this part right here. I'm going to force it to look like this by taking half of that middle term. So it's going to be x plus 2 quantity squared. All right, and you can always remember that right there is the half. That's doing the first half of that, completing the square. All right, then I'm going to set up my y. My y, if I'm going to standard form, needs to look like this. So half of that right there is going to be a negative 2. So this one will be y minus 2, quantity squared. And again, it's half of that right there. And then when I add on the right-hand side, I'm going to have 4 plus 4 plus 1. That's going to give me a 9 over there. So I've rewritten this equation in standard form and from this now I can real easily see that my center is located at, when you pull this out you got to remember to do the opposite so it's going to be negative 2 from here and 2 from here and, and then you could also look at this number right here and uh, if that is the r squared then the square root of that gives me a radius of 3. So rewriting it in standard form and then being able to identify the center and the radius.